Hey guys, it's Colin here from Spare Night Doors, and this little review is actually quite a different type of review from me, and it's actually reviewing, I suppose, a fitness challenge app, would probably be the best word to describe it, and it's an app called My Virtual Mission, by a company called The Conqueror Events. And what I'm going to do in this little video, I want to, I'm going to explain what the app is, and how I found it really interesting, and that's why I'm sharing it with you, because I, th I think it's brilliant. Um, I'll explain what it's all about, and what the company does. And then I'll explain what I got out of it, the, ch the challenge I picked and how what, what I got out of that challenge and I suppose the achievements I got through that challenge. And then I'll explain a little bit what mode of activity that I used to complete the challenge and I'll explain why I used that mode to do it. It's sort of it's something that I would normally do, but I've sort of got under it. So I said use that way of doing the challenge. But anyway, the, 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 the app's called My Virtual Mission. I'll leave links to everything in the, the description. You can go check it out. And the, the, it's called My Virtual Mission that you download. And I said it's made by a company called The Conquer Events. And it's a very good, good app. And I found it very useful. And as I said, it's a fitness challenge app. And what you can do, you can go on and pick whatever challenge you want to do. And there's loads of different challenges that you pick. I picked The, the Ring of Kerry, which is a famous loop in Ireland. It's about 124 miles long. And there's loads of other ones you can you choose to do the distance of the Grand Canyon or you can choose to do a, a challenge like Hadrian's Wall in England which is over 90 miles long but again you just choose whatever one you want to do and you can choose what activity you want to do to complete that challenge that distance and again you can do it running you can do it walking you can do it hiking you can do it cycling you can do it canoeing you can do it swimming you can do it your treadmill from home it doesn't really matter as long as you've got a tracking app that you can link to my virtual mission app. So I actually used a, 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 a very famous app called the Strava app, which is obviously records your distance and um, elevation and how long it's taking you and things like that. So I used it to link in with the, the virtual mission. Now the virtual mission was quite good is once Strava, you finished your activity at Strava, it would then send it over to the virtual mission and the virtual mission then would get your data and then start to knock off the miles that you've completed. And once you've completed your 124 mile, which happened to be the Ring of Kerry one, you the end of it, if you completed it within the time frame that you've set yourself, you end get a lovely wee finishers medal, which is actually that's it there, the Ring of Kerry finishers medal there, and there's that's it there. But that's not really the reason why I don't know if you're into collecting medals and that the medals are quite stylish and quite funky and they're actually very beautiful. But that's not the actual reason why I actually want to do this challenge. But if you're into that, that's what you get. I'll explain why I did the challenge later on. But the app's very good at the, at the same time. So the way it worked was once I did the, the Ring of Kerry. So once you used the virtual app, you were doing the virtual Ring of Kerry, which I did in the Sparrows here doing my local roads. And it would take you by, if you'd done 20 miles, it would take you by a, a, a certain landmark in the Ring of Kerry. It would then send you a postcard that you've passed this area. And I would tell you all about this famous landmark in the Ring of Kerry and a lot of information and stuff. It was quite interesting. So every time you, you go by a certain distance, it would give you a bit of information off the area that you're actually meant to be in. And every 20% that you com that you completed, they actually planted a tree on your behalf, which is also another reason why I picked this particular app, because it's also it's very good and sort of goes with my ethos, you know, plant a tree and doing something good for the environment. Now it cost um about 20, 25 quid to, to take up the challenge. But uh, as I said, I really enjoyed it and it gives you keeps you posted and then you know, if you get fifty percent it gives you a determination award and gives you certificates and things like that if you're into it. I just really wanted to do it because I wanted the challenge and again I'll explain that later. But if you're looking at a nice fitness challenge to do, definitely try these get this guy out. Um and do whatever activity you want to do and whatever reasons you are do it. It's really flexible. You can do it in your own time um you can do it your own time you can do it, do it for five minutes you can do it for five hours and it will keep all go towards your final your final amount to finish the challenge so that's pretty much about them it says i'll leave links in all to these apps and that in my description um i just i just found it was a good way of motivating yourself to get out and keep your fitness up a little bit so that's that. I'll, I'll leave you a lot of these slides there off the app there uh, so you can see it and see what you think of it. So these are some of the challenges that you can actually pick on the app. 
and this is the actual home screen of your virtual mission on the app and these are some of the little awards that you get along the way and it well, says every 20% that you do you get the you know, the in the description and you can go check it out to see what you think yourselves guys but now this is all about myself and what I have achieved out of doing the, the Ring of Kerry Virtual Challenge and why I chose cycling and the reason being how I came to choose cycling for this particular challenge, the Ring of Kerry Challenge, was I we'll have to go way back. So in my teens and early 20s, I used to play a lot of sports and do a lot of running. So I used to play like Gaelic football, used to play soccer, uh, I used to do athletics and used to go out running and things like that. And then I sort of left that behind because I was doing all my outdoor stuff at the same time as that, but I started to get more... I suppose, I suppose in my late teens and early 20s and right through my 20s to my 30s I was doing a lot more outdoor stuff, I was taking it really serious and doing proper full on expeditions and things like that and I used to do it as a job and scouting and things and sort of fell away from football and running and things like that but a few years ago I decided you know what, I'm going to give running a try, give it a go, kill some time in the evening get out just get my fitness up again because it helped your mountain fitness, it helped your outdoor fitness, just go out and do a bit of running and I went out and I was doing five Ks and things like that, just small distances, which wasn't too wasn't too bad to complete, but it, it was just a slog, it was just a chore, I just wasn't liking it at all, I just didn't like it, just wasn't enjoying it, so I just that that was that just went out the window. But during lockdown over here, um the full lockdown, all we could really do was use our local roads you weren't allowed to go out onto the open mountain, you weren't allowed to go into forest parks, so all you really had was your own roads within your own local vicinity. And it, so it was only so much you could walk them, so I whipped out the old mountain bike that's over 20 years, 20 years old, and took it out and I found out, you know what, cycling's for me, you're really starting to enjoy it. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not going to enter a Tour de France or the Olympics anytime soon, because I'm not that good at cycling. But uh, I really did start to enjoy it. And what I actually did do was I went out and actually bought myself a proper road bike set up to suit me. And it was a real game changer. Everything became so much easier. The gears were really slick. The, it was really comfortable. I was doing routes. But just from my Strava app, I was doing routes half the time that I was doing in the old bike. And it really surprised me. Because in the old bike, um, you can see on Strava where you are in leaderboards and things like that and I wasn't that was nowhere near the top and I was nowhere near the average in the middle I was sort of well I suppose it was in the middle to blow the middle on all these leaderboards by well, the new bike changed all that but we'll go to that in a minute but um what I did find out was one of the reasons why I chose that particular challenge to do was it was more, wasn't more so about the 124 miles I had to do it was more about trying to get out on the bike more often rather than doing big distances because I was just going out and knocking in 30-40 miles in a cycle on a Saturday morning which I was enjoying it was not a problem I probably had an hour of 15-20 miles in me if I really wanted to but again the, some of the serious cycling guys they're, they're double trebling that easily which I'm never going to get to because it's not my my priority sport I just, I just enjoy it it helps me with my fitness but what I well, the, what I did what did get me out that a little bit more often, especially in the dark evenings. I was maybe coming up from work and maybe a nerve light left, and I could, I could it's easier to squeeze in a couple of miles, say five to ten miles in the bicycle now than it is to walk. It's a lot faster to squeeze in than that hour. So I found out that it got me out four or five times a week rather than once a week using that challenge. And that was my challenge was just to get the bike out more often, and it worked. But what I did start to find out, particularly more so through the challenge, was how my cycling has came a long way. So once I started looking at my Strava, my, um, I was starting to get things that I never got before in Strava, where a few of them, I got a few what was called local legends. When in Strava, local legend is pretty simple. As on the local roads, if you use that particular segment or done that particular route the most over the 90 days, you become the local legend. And you'll tend to see that in certain routes where somebody's road that they've cycled on it every three or four days and just they become the local legend because that's the road they do the most and nobody else comes near them. And I got a couple of them. And then I started to see my actual average time. And the leader list started to claim 
and actually, I think half a dozen of them actually broke into the top ten as cycling times on them particular segments, which was a complete shock to me because I thought I was nowhere near that level, and I'm probably still not. You know, there's guys there that would that would blast through that. The, the actual proper guys would actually blast through that if they really wanted to. But again, for my own personal achievement, I find that amazing. I actually got under them leaderboards, and there was actually two actually got two KOMs, which is King of the Mountains, which is even more surprising, which actually topped a leaderboard in a couple of segments. Now, don't get me wrong, there's only 60 or 70 people that did a couple of these segments that I was on, but to be top of the leaderboard was a massive achievement. I think one of them has been actually smashed now by a guy, once I moved down to second and that, but I've actually holding on to one, which I'm still surprised that I've actually got near it. So, yeah, what I got out of the whole thing was... A, surprised myself actually by just getting in and giving cycling a go and this particular app the my virtual app and this challenge actually helped me to um have a get into cycling and i must say if you want to do a challenge and have a go and something to give you the motivation to get out and do things these virtual apps are brilliant to just go and do it on your own time and when you can to squeeze in a bit of fitness and you will surprise yourself i surprised myself a bit by cycling and um, what i what i can achieve now by cycling like a support that i knew nothing about eight months ago to knowing a wee bit more about it than getting gradually better at it slowly so that's pretty much just a lot of dialogue in this particular video and i hope i didn't bore the absolute the bore the life out of because it's just a lot of dialogue and i just really wanted to share my experience and this particular app and challenge with you because it's definitely worth doing i'm going to sign up for another one in january because i have a bit of free time in january coming up from working that so i'm going to do another one and see how it goes but i'll not do another video and i'll just keep that for myself so i'm just putting that out there you want to do it guys this is the one to go for So these are all my little routes that I used to complete the Ring of Kerry virtual challenge. I did 10 routes in total that killed off the challenge for me. Now Strava recorded a lot of data for me which I found really interesting. So one of them was um, the highest speed that I actually did was 37 miles an hour. I actually claimed an elevation gain of 7,726 feet which is uh, a good few thousand feet higher than Ben Nevis which is the highest mountain in the UK and a good few thousand feet higher than the highest mountain in Ireland, Karen Tool. So that surprised me by a lot too. And it throws a lot of stats.